Hi, hi preview. preview. Come get ready with us for the preview bowl. Say hi, preview. Say hi, preview. So our hotel of choice um, for getting ready for the ball is the Manila Marriott Hotel. We're going for like a brown foxy, foxy right? Yes. Foxy look. Just because we kind of want to lift stuff up because I'm trying to balance it out. The dress is very heavy down here and then we're keeping it light up here so the hair is gonna be up and then the foxy eyes is gonna be up. I trust Mac so like when I tell him I'm just like I want brown and then we want it this way he already knows what to do yeah so he still asks me also he's like what do you want right Mac? Yeah true. <laughs> Mac Igarte here has been doing a makeup for nine years now right? Yeah. He's done my makeup for nine years and I really can't use anyone else like he knows my face better than I do <laughs> at this point. But um, actually, for what we're going for tonight, maybe you should explain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Pass the yeah. mic to you. We, we just want to elevate his look every time. Iyan lang yung features niya, accentuate. Like, maganda yung mata ni Jin, so usually yun yung pinafocus ng look namin. And his brows also. The eyes and the brows, the focus. Yeah. I'm really excited to be here. I mean, uh, I'm honored that I'm being announced uh, uh, best dressed. So, thank you so much, Preview. I'm flattered. I'm very flattered. Um, yeah, I'm excited to, you know, show off these looks that you know we've worked really hard on putting together. Um, John Lozano is my. I would say he's more than a stylist. He's my fashion director. Um, helped put together these looks, and we really wanted to focus on, you know. Nice silhouettes. What are some of the beauty rituals that you do before, you know, going to events? Um, actually, today I tried out because usually I don't do much stuff for my face for um, like facials and stuff like that because I'm very into like skincare. But a while ago I tried um, the Sapphire of Ivy. But if any, honestly, it's really seeping early because your body actually naturally needs that. Your eye bags and your skin just becomes clearer and also your energy. So that it brings out that like smiley energy that you have. Although, honestly, last night I slept late, so <laughs> I broke the rule. <laughs> How you felt when you learned that you were gonna get on best dress? I was like me. <laughs> uh, no, I really, um, you know, I, I just have fun with it, to be honest. And I get a lot of my inspiration from Isa. She's had a huge influence on me, and it's been a pleasure working with with John John Lozano. Um, we have the same taste and. He really knows like how to elevate, you know, that look. How Isa influences your style? In like everything, to be honest. Sometimes I think that she's the girl version of me, or I'm the guy version of her. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think she's one of the coolest people, and definitely style-wise, uh, to me, she's an icon. So. I'm way too self-conscious to be able to decide on my own, so I really need her. <laughs> you mentioned that you're, you're actually a style icon, so... Yeah. Style icon? Yeah. Ah! He was, he was telling me something a while ago. He's like, I mentioned you during the interview, but he didn't say it was the style icon. But yay! Actually, he says that a lot, because um, he, he has his own style, and he doesn't know that, actually. He's... <laughs> I know you're there. He actually has his own style. He doesn't even know. But then he can't really decide. And then when I tell him that your outfit looks nice, he's like, oh, really? He f I think he thinks that he doesn't have his own style, but that's the thing. Even if he's not into, he doesn't read much or he doesn't watch much about fashion, it's in him, which is just like, it comes naturally. So how much more if he actually studies about it and stuff? 
So I started like styling him because we wanted to create a look for him. So I did a deck um, so that we could find the best stylist that could really follow that deck and that image and vibe that he wants to go for. And then we found John, John Lozano. So he's been like maintaining that look for him so far. So is John also your stylist for tonight or no? Um, actually, I chose the peg and then we had his team create the look. So it was a, it's more of like a collaborate, collaborative thing. Yeah. So yours is custom? Yeah, mine is custom. Because uh, actually I wasn't supposed to go because I was healing from an operation. And then last minute when I found out, like I'm like, okay, I'm good to go. I'm like, okay, I need to... Um, Oh, I've never seen my hair straight in a while. It's so weird. I'm like, oh, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, so I was talking to John, and then John was like, I can help you out. I was like, yes, please. And then I was like, I really like this dress, but I don't know if anyone could, could make it for me right now because everyone's busy, of course, because of the ball. Pero he had time and he had his own team, so he created that. Time. They did the stitching because I don't know how to do that. So I did all the sketching and like sending it over to them, trusting them to do it. How would you describe your own style of mine? Mine is ever-changing, always, um, I don't know, it's like, I really can't name it. It always change, it always changes and it also depends on my mood. But there is one thing that stitches them all together, which is just like this semi, I don't know, but we never found a term for it. Boho-ish, gypsy, what's the other term that I, use, that, that I usually use? Yeah, like gypsy chic type, but then honestly, I named it. I was like st streetwear goddess, <laughs> just so that you have like that very earthy, worldly look, but then it's still like it still goes a bit street. Yeah. Just because like I like comfy stuff. Uh, my my personal style, I have a lot of different styles. I think that's what's the fun part. Like I like being um, like it's super clean. Also mix like mixing it with. Something that's rugged. I, I always like um, mixing two opposite looks, like even with my hair. You know, it's clean in the front, but it's party in the back, you know, rocking the mullet. But um, I tend to lead towards more of like a retro feel, I'd say, when I'm really dressing up. Uh, maybe because I have an old soul. What kind of music do you like to listen to when you're getting ready? It depends on the mood. Like for this kind of event, maybe like soul, R&B. That's what I like lean towards. Something funky. I'm not sure what I'm wearing tonight. What do you think of this one? Well, this one has a unique shape. I just said, it oh, it reminds me of the mask. <laughs> but then it's oh, nice. It's different. Yeah, I like it. But I want, yeah, I want to There's still, see both. I still have another option. This one, another one's like more of like a regular yeah. fit. But this, but one, this one's cool. This one's, it's cool. It's different. In the back, it's sexy. Yeah. I'll try the other one first. Okay, option two. Like they're both sexy, but then this one just the silhouette hugs you more. Like the other one, it does. The, the other the one has that... its own sculpt to it. This I one like hugs how this you. one, the shape is really nice. Yeah. So this one, it's this one. What's this the back? One? No sexy back. Art. No, but it's art though. No, but you're still you're still shapey. So it's so sexy. So this is it? Yeah, that is it. Do you think this one's gonna go better with yours? Yes. This is it, we're good. That's it. It's really nice. It's cute. You win.
So this is the final look. We have the suit by Peter Lyle, the shoes by United Nude, and all the jewelry is Tiffany & Co. I love it. I think I'm ready. Hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with us. For more, you can follow our socials at James. At Pressmanisa. And don't forget to subscribe to Preview's channel. Thanks, guys. Till next time. Bye. Bye-bye.